Okay, hello again. It uh, was a couple of months and uh, of work, and now you can see my finish, nearly finished. Um, overhead is um, mounted on the overhead structure, and the main instrument panel is also up and running. Some details are missing, but uh, basically we can fly with this setup now. I will show you an engine start today with a fully working overhead and uh, some avionics uh, software in the back running. Okay, first of all, we are standing here in uh, Vienna, in Austria, at uh, Pier West on position Charlie 43, and we will now start uh, the engines on this posi position. I will leave. Uh, the Aerosoft IES in the background, so we don't need it uh, for this demonstration. Now. First of all, our LED dis LCD display is uh, showing a welcome message. If we enable the battery, it will show us um, the electronic status of all the equipments. So, uh, we can see some uh, lights were coming on from the flight controls, uh, hydraulics, stands by, um, below there the bus system, as well as the emergency exit lights, the notification that are not armed, etc. The next thing we would enable the standby power, and the next thing we will start uh, the APU. So the APU is starting, as you can see, until now there is uh, no servo built in, but in the background the servo is running already. It will take a couple of seconds until the APU ready light will show up. APU is now available. And you can hear also the background noise from Sima Bionics. In the meantime, also the main instrument panel uh, came on, flight management computer, as well as the six pack uh, from the captain side. The next thing uh, we will do with the flight management computer, we will enable the quick calibration because I don't have simulated and after overhead panel. So we can go there into sim and say APU EIDU align now and there we are aligned. So as the APU is running we can switch our boost systems to the APU and yes some other systems went automatically on. <laughs> we can see there the frequency from now we have the APU generator. Please notice that the 7 up uh, in the corner and it's not a right value. I have to um, correct it afterwards. We can now switch, for example, through all the generator settings. Single generator one is not running. Also on the left hand side we we'll see now the battery status, the auxiliary battery, the battery boost, backup battery, etc. Okay, for the next thing we will enable the flight controls and the spoiler controls. And on the other hand we will enable the engine and electric systems. The isolation will we have to set to automatic for start and the APU switch to on for the for the packs uh, for the bleed sorry. Also we can enable here the emergency exit light we can set to armed so that this indication will go off. As we are now nearly finished with the setup, we can quit uh, the warnings 
and I can show you one more thing that's already working on these buttons as well as uh, these three buttons there will be um, some naming plates on it later on we can do a light test so we have a lot of lights in the main instrument panel working right now and lighting up and I can show you that the, that the buttons are working if you switch it off the light will go off as well so um, let's start the engine APU is running we have an active bleed and an isolation by the starter and now we can set it engine number one to ground as you can see the engine is spooling up and you can see the engine one is spooling up now Engine 1 to off, engine 2 to ground start. Engine 2 is pulling up. And with switching in 2, we can enable the fuel and the engine is up and running. As engine number 1 is running, we can uh, switch the generator. On, so we have uh, these lights uh, go off and the engine number two is pulling up but not stabilized yet so we need to wait a couple of seconds now engine number two is also stabilized we can push uh, switch the APU to off but before we do this we set the bleed air to both systems we can see now a dual bleed indication if we disable the APU the dual bleed is gone. Also the packs can be enabled that the packs are on and APU switching off. We can hear in the background that the APU is getting uh, turned off and also the chart humper as last system we can switch on. Then we have a little other things we can make an attend call for the crew all the other buttons are not programmed yet so maybe this uh, they are playing then some wave fail so whatever as we can see Our main instrument panel is also working. I can show you there. For example, all the airports in the near of Vienna. So, one of the other airports. You can also give you a data. And the data turned off. Same with waypoints, it should take a couple of seconds to load all the GPS waypoints. Here we go. And as well for the stations, so what I can show in is the terrain radar. The terrain radar will show us uh, maybe completely red now because we are on the ground. So there's nothing to display below us. And we have also programmed there the red light that indicates us that the parking brake is set now and off and again set on. Also the ATC, uh, the transponder is working correct. And the flight management system, we can make the cabin calls. Doors to automatic and cross check. And the last thing I can show you working is the flap gauge. So you can see flaps are up now. 
Let's run now to one. Loading to two. You can see below the indications the yellow and the green led also rolling to five, etc. And twenty back up to zero. Also the autopilot is working but I showed this uh, in another video. So basically that's the status of my cockpit until now. I hope you enjoyed second the video and in the next couple of weeks I will continue to work on the overhead and the construction as you can see there there's something missing and then and a lot of cables are in the back so this needs to be done in the in the next couple of weeks thank you for joining and uh, you'll find an app to date status as usual on my website thank you bye bye